Hello again, you guys on YouTube. Um, I'm recording another video. Um, I'm still homesick, so um, this video um, that you're watching today was probably recorded yesterday. Um, I, I think you can probably hear that I'm sounding a little bit better. I'm suffering bad from the man flu. Um, but, you know, us guys, we always get it worse, don't we? <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, back to business here. I'm um, doing another Lutron video. Um, this one is basically about engraving and the importance of engraving. Um, there's nothing more annoying than a control system that's been installed that is not intuitive on how to control. There's a lot of systems out there that are installed by alleged custom install professionals and they're not completed as they should be. Um, they're not finished in a way that enables easy and simple control. Now this is something that Lutron push hard um, when you're doing your training and as part of the software package um, that you, the buttons need to be engraved, it needs to be easy to use um, not just for the homeowner but for anyone else coming into the home. Um, that's where it's important to have the buttons labelled, especially when you have situations like this here where you've got a 10 button plate. If it was just blank with no um, engraving or any kind of idea of what the buttons do, um, then no one's going to know what the what it does. They're going to be pressing buttons um, with undesirable effects basically. So one good thing with Lutron is you've got an extensive range of plates and things. Um, here we go. So if, we, if I just scroll through, there's some US type plates. There's this, these are, this is basically all the Lutron equipment or control equipment available. Um, some very nice palladium plates here. Um, they're, they're very nice, uh, quite a high-end plate. Um, but at the moment, we're just going to look at the C-Touch plates, which are the most common control plates used. And you can see in this list here that there's quite a few varieties. So there's no excuse to have 10 buttons with hardly any of them used or 10 buttons for the sake of it where you're just trying to make up scenes or or, or things to put on a button, basically. You know, if you just want an on and off, then choose a two button plate and, and get on and off or bright and soft or bright and off or whatever but that's all you need um, so there's plenty of variety here as you can see so let's just get to the engraving screen shall we actually I've just fired up a sample room let's add some plates into the room here we go so we'll do a 10 button and a there we go so engraving with Lutron um, there's a few ways to go about it um, but what you can do is click on view properties just from this screen here and you basically get an image of your plate um, here you can also change various settings um, you can change here um, so if for any reason you think oh no actually I want six buttons you can change the button count from this screen as well which is very useful um, so I'll go back to a five button there um, you can add an infrared receiver on, on various buttons um, for in case you use an infrared remote control which is rarely used now really with iOS devices which are generally used for uh, control. Um, another f great feature of the Lutron plates here is backlight intensity so you can change the level um, and you can also I believe change the level um, depending on conditions so at a certain time of the night I believe you could change the, the brightness level um, but this is great for in bedrooms where people you know they don't necessarily want this this bright glowing switch the opposite side of the room in their bedroom when they're trying to get some sleep um, so you can disable or l at least lower the level as well um, of backlight intensity um, we move across here to appearance now there's lots of there's also lots of metal finishes um, you've got antique brass I think it is there so it looks antique brass 
satin brass, uh, bright brass, there's satin nickels, satin chromes, bright chromes, um, there's arctic white, so these are basically just plastic face plates. And there's also glass face plates which you can use. Um, there's a, that's a, that's, it looks like a plastic face plate on the diagram, but it's actually a glass, um, a, a clear white glass uh, face plate. So onto engraving, which is why we're here. Actually, I'll just change the appearance back to um, what we were working with, satin nickel with black buttons. Um, you can also obviously spec as a special. Um, if you wanted the satin nickel with white buttons, then you can do that as well if you like. Okay, so engraving. Um, lots of things to do here. Um, but try and keep it simple. When you're engraving plates, keep it simple. It's it's ultimately the, the, the homeowner that's going to be controlling the system and they're not as familiar as maybe you are when you're programming it. So what I generally do is start with the higher levels and work my way down. So a, a normal setup for me would be bright, soft, relax, night, and off. And Basically, that's a pretty general setup. Those are scenes. So bright would be 100% on. Soft is going to be, um, it could be everything at 50%. Relax could be in a room where you've got some um, LED accent lighting, um, lighting up some pictures or behind some LED behind a TV or cabinet lighting. And then night would be like a bare minimum light level. So um, just so if you get up in the middle of the night, and you want to go and get a glass of water you could press the night button and it can just bring on a path of low level lights to the kitchen or wherever it depends on how you want to program it but that's generally a really simple um, example of how um, how simple it can be um, you can also if you really wanted to you can put symbols on here as well so um, I mean, sometimes they work um, you could have a cinema room I guess where night is actually you could be movie that could be movie and then if we go to audio video you could have a nice picture of a projector there so there's symbols and things as well um, another variation if we were to change this to a um, properties we change this to a plate an a button plate uh, if we just Okay, so you could have, let's go back to engraving, you could have your, with your, your scenes here, let's get rid of that one, so we could have bright um, cooking, and this could be a kitchen scenario, so bright, and then you've got cooking, so basically in the kitchen area it's focused the light on, you've got dining, so you've got a dining part of the this, the this open plan area. So that's basically focusing lights above the table, and other other areas are dimmed down. And you could do night and then off. Nice and simple wording here. And then over here, you could have play. Um, you could have some symbols maybe. So you could have um, play. Stop. next track or something like that or yeah there we go next track so you can have some music audio um, uh, buttons on the side there or if um, another example um, you know only using plates where the buttons are being useful so you could have open so shades this could be shades open stop close there we go really simple intuitive um, and straight to the point simple for the client to operate and for anyone else coming into the room to operate um, you can do fancy things oh actually I've just noticed this, this keypad here has got um, the IR window here and um, this normally isn't 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 there and um, if we just change the properties again try 8 bll there we go so that that's it basically without the aisle window um but yeah this, this is a, this is as 
as complicated as you need to make it. Um, Lutron is all about making sure um, things are engraved. So when you purchase their control plates, you basically get free engraving credits um, as a dealer. So you can um, create a, an engraving list. Um, let's just click done here. So if we hover over, you can see here um, it shows that we've actually got some engraving. Um, so if I go up to reports, and then engraving, this is basically the engraving uh, information you get. And straight from here, they make it as simple as possible. You can click order engraving. Um, you can see here that Lutron, um, they, they want the, the customer's experience to be as simple um, uh, as possible. So they encourage engraving of the buttons um, by making it as simple as possible. And as I was saying before, they, they offer free engraving credits um, when you buy when the when the uh, the dealer buys plates. So there's no excuses at all to at least get some kind of engraving um, on the on the control plates. Anyway, so that's all I'm going to do today on the Lutron um, programming. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask. Um, any kind of requests on videos maybe to do with Lutron or Reiko or some of the other videos I've done, Control 4, um, I'll see what I can do. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe and I will see you again soon. Thank you very much.